Today is June 5th of 2019, and uh, tomorrow is the 75th anniversary of the D-Day landings in Normandy during World War II. Uh, so all this week throughout the United States and all over Europe, there are different celebrations and commemorations going on. Uh, my daughter and I went to a thing at Fort Leonard Wood yesterday that was pretty cool. Uh, today, we are at Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery. And uh, this is located just south of St. Louis. Um, it was formed uh, in 1866, I believe, right after the, the Civil War. And uh, has some uh, direct connections to not only World War II, obviously, but uh, the Normandy invasion itself. So, not only does it have connections there, but man, there is a, a whole lot of history that can be explored in this place. So right now I'm standing in the oldest section of the cemetery and it's overlooking the, the Mississippi River. It's a little bit bright there. But yeah, you can see the Mississippi River in the background. And just standing right here, um, here's a, a Civil War marker. There's a couple of Spanish-American War. Uh, here's one from 1830. Uh, so even though this wasn't established as a national cemetery until 1866, uh, it was already an established cemetery by well before the, the Civil War. Uh, now the oldest known grave here is that of this one, Elizabeth Ann Lash. Uh, she was the infant daughter of an officer that was stationed at Jefferson Barracks. I don't know what year she died. Uh, I'm assuming probably late 20s. 1820s, maybe late eight or early 1830s, uh, but you can you can see the the location. They made sure that her resting place was up here on the hill, real scenic view, overlooking the river. But this is the oldest section of the cemetery. A lot of interesting markers here. We are getting ready to move to another section. I um, thought it was worth mentioning before we do that though. I, I've been accused before of being a little bit odd for uh, you know wanting to go to cemeteries and look at headstones and things like that, even if I don't know anybody there. Um, so right back here behind me, somewhere I can't see on my screen, um, there's my daughter, Olivia. And she has been going from headstone to headstone and has taken a complete interest in this. Now, she already likes history a little bit anyway, so this might be cheating. Um, but it's proving to be an educational thing for her because she's asking, hey, look at when this person died. Uh, what war would this person have been in? What was going on where this person you know, might have died in you know, 1865? What's the Spanish-American War? So uh, you don't have to go to a museum in order to learn and understand and appreciate history. Uh, you can get a lot of it just at a national cemetery. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next spot, though. All right, here's another good one. This is a guy that's worth looking up. Donald Puckett, winner of the Medal of Honor. He was in a... B-17, if I'm not mistaken. Um, look him up and read his story. Pretty amazing what this guy did. Okay, now of the thousands and thousands of graves here at, uh, at the National Cemetery, these two might be the most interesting to me. The names are Max Sumnik and Gustav Farrar. Uh, I think I mispronounced those correctly. Um, here's what makes these two interesting, is that in the midst of all of these graves, these two are German. These are two German POWs that died in the camp close by here, and then were buried right here in the cemetery. If you go down 
just uh, just a few markers down. Um, there's a few more. Um, here's a Niccolo de Salvo. Here's a Vivaldi, Benetti. Uh, these are five Italian prisoners of war. So there, if, if I understand correctly, there was a POW camp up in Chesterfield, probably 30 miles away from here. Um, you can think of it what you will, that they're buried here amongst American soldiers. Um, to me, it kind of speaks to the, the goodness of, uh, of Americans, that uh, even the prisoners of war that we take in, we, we treat them good. Okay, in a new section. Now, earlier I mentioned that tomorrow is the anniversary of D-Day and that the National Cemetery here at Jefferson Barracks has a pretty strong connection to the D-Day landings and the Normandy invasion, uh, and also to Band of Brothers, both the series and the book by Stephen Ambrose, both of which are outstanding. Uh, if you watched the series or read the book, in the first two episodes, there was a guy who was in Baker Company who ended up getting transferred to Easy Company as their commander by the name of Thomas Meehan. Okay, so Meehan was in the lead plane, a C-47, uh, for the 101st Airborne as they took off and went to Normandy to drop behind enemy lines. And uh, that plane ended up getting shot down and hit by flak. And uh, witnesses saw it go down a couple miles from St. Mary Glees and it hit a, a hedgerow and then exploded killed everybody inside. Well, here is the mass grave of Lieutenant Meehan and the whole crew of that C-47. Okay, so we just realized something kind of cool. Um, there was an excavation that took place uh, where they exhumed the bodies. They ended up getting interred here in the early 50s sometime. And um, later on, they went, found the wreckage, went through the remains and stuff like that. The watches in the plane were stopped at 1.10 a.m. Uh, local time in France. Well, 1.10 a.m. on June 6th, 1944 would have been 6 10 p.m. on June 5th here and uh, it just so happens that we are here at the exact moment 75 years later that Meehan and the crew that was on board this C-47 were killed. Arguably the first casualties of D-Day. All right so that is the primary reason why we came to Jefferson Barracks today was to, to visit that grave, um, to remember those guys, and think about the, uh, the sacrifice that they laid down so that not only the U.S., but the, the world could be free. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right, uh, tomorrow I think I'm going to Fulton to the Churchill Museum for their uh, D-Day events. and. Uh, be my first time there, so kind of looking forward to that. All right, that's it. <laughs>